Good morning on this sunny day in Colorado. You can't see because the blinds are shut here because it let too much light in. And uh, it's been raining here, so they've been open to let more light in. But now we got too much light, so the blinds are closed. Anyways, uh, welcome back. It's Fox and Robin recording. We've got coffee, we've got speakers, and we got a review today. So let's get to it. So I'm going to take a cup, take a sip, and you're welcome to as well. All right. So today's video is about these, the PMC Result 6s. And you can see they're a little bit smaller, but still pretty wide. Um, so first, we are going to start with our, uh, our reason why we got these. Now we got these so we could have um, a little bit better monitoring than we had. Now we had a pair of Focal Alpha 80s which in their time and their outright were, are great monitors. They sounded good, they had a good low end. I think they dropped down to like 35 hertz. They were good, but they they just sounded a little boomy for the space that we're in. And we've, you know, we've treated it, we've got a cloud and we've got some more treatment that we're currently working on. Um, but it just, you know, we just had too much. There was just, you know, too much boom. And we've added a couch that's over here, kind of in front of the, well, that's cameras actually next to it but you know we added a couch to help with that and that did help a little bit but it was just one of those things like okay we got the couch and all this treatment in the cloud and it's just not you know we still have something that's right so we're not sure what's going on so anyways you know you measure it and you adjust and measure and adjust so anyways we called our friends at Sweetwater um, Zach Coleman is our Sweetwater guy um, he kind of suggest a couple speakers. He suggest a pair of PMCs and the Atoms. And for the price, I actually found a pair of PMCs on their website used um, for about the same price as the Atoms. Maybe a little more after taxes and whatnot, but we got them. And that's what we got. We ended up getting the PMC Result 6s. Now, these speakers have kind of replaced everything that we have. We've had them for a couple weeks. We had the Focals, we had a pair of Mix Cubes. And we used both of those kind of so we could get our translation going. And to be honest, these, everything that I've mixed on them so far, taken out to the car or headphones or whatever, sounds pretty much the same as it does on the PMC as it does everywhere else. Which, translation is huge, you know. You want to get the best translation that you can. So, this have helped. This, this right here. Now we've got two of them. There's one here and there's one obviously in front of me here. And uh, so, as we go for the review, we're going to kind of show you some of the things here. So, as you can see, we've got a tweeter and a woofer, and down here is, looks like just a logo, really does. It looks just kind of like a logo plate. It's not actually, it's a vent. Um, and basically, they have what is called their, um, I'm going to look on the back here, it's called the ATL technology. So basically, what happens in here is, from the woofer here, there's a cavity that goes up, over, back down, and over in the speaker. And basically, and it's all acoustically treated. And you can look this up on their website. And from what I understand, it's all acoustically treated and it helps extend the low end of the speaker as well as it does some other frequency and, and, and some tonality stuff as well. Now you can see in the top here, we've got the tweeter, but we also have, you might be able to see them, there's some fins here, they're called defense and they help with distortion at high frequencies, you know, high frequency distortion that can happen with tweeters as it's moving in and out. Um, so that's kind of a rundown. And then it's got a six and a half. These are six and a half, by the way, six and a half inch speakers. Um, and basically that's it. That's, that's all there is to the front of the speaker. Now the back, as I go on the other side here, you can see there's their little logo patch. Um, you know, documentation telling you like, yeah, it covers all the FCC stuff. But then all there is is an on switch, the input jack, which is XLR and a volume. And that's it. There's no speaker calibration. There's no, uh, you know, there's no EQ. There's none of the processing that some of the newer speakers, these are simply just a speaker. That's it. It's, you know, it's just a speaker. There's nothing, nothing extra that you get with these, which I absolutely love that aspect makes things so much easier when all you have is a volume an input and on you know and your your power jack you know it just makes things a little simpler so but these 
Honestly, I've done frequency tests of them, which I may include somewhere. We'll see. Um, but what I tested with them without ISO pucks or anything, just on the stands, was pretty. It was pretty balanced. You know, it had a roll off it. At the high end 8K, it starts to kind of roll off a little bit, and it kind of rolls off a little bit the low end, which is kind of expected. But the high end was a little interesting, I found. Um, but they sound fantastic. I don't really have much of a problem with them. Um, they, they've been great. And um, in this review, you know, I can't say, oh, I did forget one thing. You can see they've got bands around here and here. These are rubber ISO bands to help it vibrate when it's not vibrate when they're on a desk. So it kind of helps decouple from the desk. Um, we are actually going to try, because we still have a little bit of a mid-range bump so, from our console. So we're going to try a few more things from our midweight to help with that with ISO pucks from ISO acoustics, maybe uh, sound ID, um, you know, kind of ping the room and set up a profile that way. So anyways, that is kind of these in a nutshell. There's not much to them to review. They sound fantastic. I say, if you can get a pair of them, they're great. They're about three grand a pair. We got them cheaper. Um, actually, I'm quite a bit cheaper than that. I'm not gonna tell you the price, but we did get them quite a bit cheaper from our Sweetwater guys used. Um, and I, I'll, I'll put the link down below where you can look at these and see them from Sweetwater. And that's kind of them in a nutshell. Uh, we're going to do maybe another video where we test these with the ISO pucks just so you can kind of hear what they sound like. You know, like, hey, this is without the pucks, this is with the pucks, and, and see the change. And maybe even we'll do a, room, a video where we like, hey, we're going to ping the room with our acoustics, you know, with our speakers and stuff. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. And maybe we'll get a good video out of it. Maybe we won't. Who knows? So, um, thanks for watching and hit the like and subscribe if you can. You know, don't forget to. If you like these videos, hit like. If you want to see more, get more notifications from us, hit the bell and you'll get notifications on when we do a video and, um, and when we do other things as well. So, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time and go make some music.